Testing, testing. Alright. Alright. The the groundhog ballast regulator operation maintenance manual. Troubleshooting. Um, the groundhog ballast regulator troubleshooting, electrical troubleshooting, inspection of the electrical system with, um, for the clues of the malfunction. Check to see if the unit is, can be operated without further damage to, be, to the system. Allow the checks the system before the turning on the switches and running the machine. Lock, look for the bare wires that could cause ground or short. Shorted wires can be damaged to the charging system. Two, look for loose or broken wires. Inspect all connections, especially battery connection points. Clear, clean, um, cleanliness, ha cleaning harm, harnesses, can, um, connectors, grounding connections. It often correct with an appears to be the malfunction. Check the battery or electrical light level. Continue loss of electrolyte fluid indicates overcharging the charged battery or over overcharging our cracked battery case. Inspect the overheated um, parts of that after the unit has been stopped for a while. That they will often smell like burned insulation. Put your hand on the alternator heat in these parts when when the machine has not been operated or sometimes it so. It is a sure clue of charging circuit problems. Many electric electric circuit or electric failures cannot can be not cannot be detected even by machine is even if the machine is started. If your visual inspe uh, visual inspection does not indicate possible malfunction, refer to the electrical system troubleshooting guide that follows. The electrical schematic for the machine cannot be found uh, at the back of the troubleshooting section behind the electrical tab of this manual. Warning: Disconnect the battery before servicing the machine. The failure to do so can result in personal injury or accident to the engine engine startup. Caution: Never shut off a battery. Disconnect the switch. The uh, disconnect the switch when the engine is running. This could cause the damage to the voltage regulator, alternator, electric systems. Problem: Battery uses too much water. Problem: Cracked battery case. Possible cause: Frozen battery. Solution: Keep battery fully charged in cold weather. Replace bat replace battery. Low battery output. Low level. Low water level. Solution: Add dis distilled water. Possible cause: Dirty water battery. Top of the causing the discharge. Clean and wipe battery off. Low battery output. Corroded or loose battery cables. Clean and tighten battery cables. Low battery output. Broken battery posts. Wiggle battery posts by hand and post wiggles or turns. Replace battery. Low battery output. Wrong size replacement battery. Replace the battery with the type specified in the machine specifications. Um, problem. Starting the motor will not turn. The starting the motor will not turn. The possible cause is battery disconnected with the switch turn off. Switch turn the switch on to the on position. Problem. Starting the motor will not turn on. Defective ignition switch repair and replace. Starting motor will not turn. Direction control not to be set to uh, the direct possible cause direct control directional control not set to neutral solution lift the control handle up to the unlock and move the neutral position starting the motor will not turn possible cause bad solenoid replace solenoid starting motor will not turn corroded battery terminals inspect clean and clean if necessary problem our does not our meter does not work um problem possible possible causes Hour meter gauge defective. Replace hour meter gauge. Problem: Hour meter does not work. Possible problem: um, Warning harness shortage. Replace warning harness. Hour meter does not work. Corrode failed. Hour meter ground wire. Replace ground wire. Problem: Voltmeter does not work. Possible solute. Possible causes: Vo Voltmeter gauge defective. Replace meter. Wiring harness, replace and repair and replace. Regulator, repair and replace. Engine oil problem. Engine oil pressure gauge does not work. The pro possible s problems. Pressure gauge defective. Replace gauge. Possible problems. Wiring hi wiring harness, repair and place. Problems. Engine oil pressure gauge also re read high. Um, problem solution. Problem cause high oil velocity. Do not drain and add correct oil specified on the recommended lubrications. Possible cause, wiring harness, checking wiring harness repair. Uh, possible causes with the engine oil pressure gauge also reached. The possible causes, engine oil pressure gauge defective, solution, repair and replace. Problem, engine oil pressure gauge always reads high. Uh, defective pressure sensor, replace sensor.
problem. Engine oil pressure gauge always leads low. Low oil level st um, solution. Stop engine. Check the low level if the low le if low fill the desired. Engine oil pressure gauge always reads low. Low oil viscosity. Drain. Add and correct specified recommended recommended lubrications. Your oil pressure gauge also reads wiring harness. Uh, the possible cause of the wiring harness repair and replace. Oil pressure gauge also reads low. Possible cause, gauge defect, replace gauge, oil pressure gauge also reads low, defective pressure sensor, replace sensor. Problem, a horn does not sound, wiring harness, check the harness repair, replace, corrected a horn loose, tighten connection, a horn circuit breaker blown, reset circuit breaker, horn defective, check horn and repair and replace, horn relay, check relay, horn switches, check switches and replay and replace. Problem. Backup alarm does not sound. The backup alarm switch is not turned on. Turn on. The wiring harness. If it's the wiring harness, check the harness repair and replace. If it's the backup alarm circuit breaker blown, reset the circuit breaker. If the connection at the alarm, alarm loose is tighten the connection. If the backup the alarm defective, check the alarm repair and replace. If the backup alarm does not sound, the backup alarm switch is faulty. Check and switch and repair and place. Problem. Travel lights do not work. Uh, possible causes are wiring harness connection at loose um, wiring harness. Check the harness and repair and replace. Possible cause connection to light loose light loose tighten connection. Um, light circuit breaker blown. Reset circuit breaker. Light switch defective. Repair and replace switch. The connection switch loose tighten and connection connection a circuit breaker panel loose and tighten connection. Light defective. If the travel light does not work and the light is defective, replace the light. Um, pro problem work lights do not work. The wiring harness. Check the hi harness and repair and replace. If the works work, work work lights do not work, connect a light. Uh, connection of a light loose. Tighten the connection. Light circuit breaker blown. Reset circuit breakers. Light switch defective. Repair and replace switch. Light defective. Replace light. Cooling fan not working. Loose of the connection back of the fan. Tighten. Loose the connection. A circuit breaker. Um. Tight. Tighten. Loosen connection on relay. Tighten. If the brake brake lights do not work, wiring harness. Check the harness repair and replace connection at the loose li light. At light loose. Tighten the connection. If the light circuit breaker is blown out, reset the circuit breaker. If the light is defective, replace the light. Hydraulic system, particularly after the startup of an insulation component, should be checked regularly at a short intervals for the correct operation and possible leakage. Inspection, the hydraulic system for the clues of the malfunction. Check to see if the unit is operated without further damage. If it's not shut down immediately, always check these items before starting the machine. Check the hydraulic oil level. Look for the loose and disconnection hoses. O oil spot below the machine is good in the dedication of a loose hose or a hydraulic component. Make certain that the shutoff of the suction strainer is open. Open the valve can and correct the what appears to be a malfunction. Inspect the vital connections, especially at a main, a main pump. The main pump houses connections at the main manifold. Look for the coverage damage indications: twisted, torn, crimpled, battered, cracked, or leaking hoses. Hoses with either uh, with their outer cover, the, the other damages should be considered unit unfit for a service. Tightening fittings on on when the system is not pressurized. High pressure leaks can warning. Tightening the fittings only when the system is not pressurized. The high pressure leaks can cause personal injury. When the machine is running and before working, inspecting the leaks, the machine has not been to run in some time. I only make think they can cause a very variety of malfunctions. If it is true, make certain that the oil tank has been properly drained, cleaned, and refilled. If a visual inspection does not indicate mal possible malfunction, refer to the troubleshooting guide as follows. Food contamination. Contamination may, may in many forms. It may be air, water, cutting oil, roots, chips, grits, or it may be usually easier to keep contaminants out of the system rather than remove them after they are in the system. Bulk handling and the re reuse of the oil containers and guarantees that you will be new oil will be dirty. Um, make the practice to fill a new oil oil before adding to the system. Make another practice to change the filter of the regular basis before the clog, be before it became cl becomes clogged. Location leak circuits. Petroleum oils are used in most hydraulic applications to lubricate parts of the transmission motor. As an oil temperature increases, however, the lubrication film thins out. The result in the rubber parts supported by the oil film move closer together. Friction and wearing increased seals. Ma materials are more quickly built, become stiff and hard, may readily permit leakage. The first step in leaking is to eliminate possible the overfilled reserves and special created suspected leaks. The next step it would be to clean the suspected area to watch the leaks. Usually, Occurred in the fitting hoses, O rings, or the other seals.
Most leaks occur fittings, but often too the finding of the fitting of the leasing leaking is difficult between the fluid that runs to the oil along the hose and then drips off at some other point. Leaks or high pressure lines sometimes are difficult to pinpoint because of the fluid comes out of them as a mist. Once you find a location of a leak, a specific cause is determined before it can be corrected. A scratch of the fitting, seating, or the cut of the seal lip with the beginning, big enough to leak excessive can still be a, too small to find in the naked eye. The use of magnifying glass would assist you hose life. Hose leakage and ma failure to maintain, maintain many times where in the ending of the fitting group, the hoses check the system for the pressure spikes and surges. If the bulges and bubbles occur on the flexible hose, leak can take place within the layers. The hose should be replaced with the huge oil, the high oil temperatures of oil. Over 200 degrees Fahrenheit or 93 degrees Celsius can quickly harden and stiffen or the rubber hose. When the pressure pulses, plexus, as a hardened hose, it fails cracking. Every increasing at 25 degrees Fahrenheit cuts the hose life in half. Use replacement hose rated at actual fluid temperatures. Keep a blog of the hose. Uh, use of replacement can be made by failure occurs. Before failure occurs. If a hose is installed within the twist in it, the high operating pressure tends to force it straight, then it can cause a fading or even burst the hose at a point of strain. The functional hydraulic schematic of the machine can be found in the part of this troubleshooting section behind the table of the electrical in part two of the part's information. Um, the Groundhog Ballast Regulator Troubleshooting Hydraulic System Troubleshoot Guide. Hydraulic pump does not develop pr pressure. Um, possible cause, no hydraulic oil tank. Um, note that the pump is run without the oil tank and, and pump damage will occur. Check the oil level, refill the tank. The hydraulic pump does not develop pressure. Possible cause, shut off valve closed. Not, note that the pump is run with the valve closed, but the pump does damage will occur. Open the valve completely. Hydraulic does not develop pressure. Main relief valve by bypassing. Note that oil pump the blowing past any of the relief valve can cause the oil to overheat. The solution adjusts the pressure setting on the relief valve. Hydraulic pump does not develop pressure. Pump is defective. Refer to the pump manual and replace the pump. Hydraulic pump is excessively noisy. Cold oil uh, um, solution allow units to warm up. If there's a, it may have low oil level. If it's noisy, check the end of oil. And the hydraulic pump excessively or noisy. Oil viscosity is too high or oil too thick. Drain it at a correct and specified lubric recommended lubrication. It's Hydraulic pump excessively noisy system relief valve to set too low. Increased pressure setting relief valve. See if the pressure checks. Intake and hoses are pump restricted. Inspect and repair and defective pump. See pump manual and repair and replace. Track traveling is non-functional in one direction. Other direction is normal. The pump the possible cause is the pump shrink sto sto stroking line linkage is slipped or not positioned correctly. Align and linkage and tighten. If the possible cause is... Faulty control on the pump, expect and repair and replace. If this also, if as motor pr the motor pressure is high, pressure relief the valve stuck and located on the rear of the block of the motor. Interchange the solution is to interchange the lock of the location of the two relief valves and see if the change travel deliver malfunction clean inspection change of relief is necessary. Travel track travels not function functioning in either direction. Suction line in the shutoff valve possible cause suction line and shutoff valve is closed. Solution open the valve and lock in the open position. The travel the track travel in the function is either in dire, is not is not functioning in either direction. Clog suction filter. Check the vacuum reading if more than 10 inches of the HG uh, at a working tam temperature, change the filter um, elements. If the track travel the function is in either uh, direction, the possible cause is suction line gate valve closed. Open the valve lock in the open position. If the travel tra if the track travel not function in either direction, the four speed transmission not in gear, put in gear the, train, the linkage in the necessary. If the travel track tra track travel the function is in, in either direction, um, problem. This possible cause is pump con control block, block faulty, inspection, repair, and replace, or the pump control cable faulty, inspection, repair, and replace. Track travel slow in either direction. Um, possible cause, shifting linkage not more part of putting motor on lever into the correct position on the high speed. The solution is check the linkage and tightening. If the travel track travel slow is in either direction, faulty pump control, inspect, repair, and replace. If the track travel slow in either direction, the low charge pressure A is either clog or suction, check or pressure filter, excessive leakage in the pump or motor. If the clog section of the char charge pressure filter is changed the elements, if excessive leakage in the pump or, or motor, change both the pump and motor, repair old units. Note that for more hydrostatic track dr driver problems, please refer to the components manufacturer manual. 
Hydraulic oil, oil overheats. The possible cause of oil viscosity is too high, oil too thick, drain and add incorrect oil specified and recommended lubrications. Problem, hydraulic over, over, hydraulic over, overheats. System relief, the possible cause of system relief valve is set too low, increase the pressure setting on the relief valve, see the pressure checks. Hydraulic oil overheats, oil line damage because of excessive and impossible cause, oil lines damage because of excessive internal restriction, inspector repair. Um, problem oh, hydraulic over oil overheats travel release set too low check and reset hydraulic oil foams water and is possible cause water in the oil inspect oil for the water drain and correct it specified under recommendation and lubrication uh, hydraulic oil foams I'm um, using wrong oil drain add and correcting oil is specified and recommended lubrications hydraulic oil foams low hydraulic level check the level refill the tank hydraulic oil foams damage hydraulic oil lines inspect the repair and replace hydraulic oil foams air in the suction line hydraulic pump of the pump shaft leaking inspect and repair and replace Mechanical troubleshooting. Inspecting mechanical for the clues of the malfunction. Check to see if the unit is operated without further damage. Warning. Always turn off the machine when proper maintenance. Making adjustments whenever unintended machine can occur unless directed otherwise. Failure to comply could result in personal injury or damage to the machine. Mechanical troubleshooting guide. Machine will not pro propel. Possible cause, main pump is not developing pressure. Solution is see hydraulic tr troubleshooting. Main machine will not propel. Brakes not releasing. Solution set the next, see the next problem. Pro um, machine will not propel. Pro 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 propulsion relief setting too low. Increase the relief setting. Machine will not propel. Defective motor and broken drive shaft. Repair and replace motor and shaft. The... Uh, Brakes not releasing, um, problem cause, the air pressure is too low, adjust the regular setting, brake will not release, brake cylinder bypassing, air inspect and replace the cylinder, problem, brakes will not apply, broken brake spring, inspect the spring and replace as necessary, brakes will not apply, brake shoes are worn, inspect shoes and replace as necessary, problem, broom, broom will not low, and low lift or low, lock up and engage, disengage the lock, um, the possible causes of obstruction of pinch points, remove the obstruction pressure of the left lift cylinder, adjust the main relief and replace, relief the cylinder, possible causes carrying carrier bushing not lubricated grease the bushings bent or uh, bent guide ride rods replace guide rods problem broom will not maintain rpms um possible so, c cause engine is not at a full rpm adjust the throttle the possible cause brooming depth is too deep that deep reset the boom depth broom depth um too much ball the possible cause too much ballast plow out system too much the possible cause system pressure problem adjust system pressure Broom will not maintain RPMs. Defective broom drive motor repair and replace and drive motor. Excessive broom drive noise and vibration. Possible cause uneven distributed broom elements, missing elements, replace missing or worn elements. Possible cause driving chain out of the adjustment, readjust. Possible cause lack of lubrication driving housing, filling to the level plug. Excessive broom noise and vibration. Possible cause boom shift before failure, replace the bearing. Defective broom drive motor, replace and drive the motor. All right, a two-way plow won't lift or lower. Um, the possible cause safety lock is engaged, disengage the safety lock. The possible cause obstruction at pinch points, remove the obstruction, pressure put a pass broom at lift lift cylinder, adjust the main relief, replace the cylinder, carrier bushings not lubricated, grease the bushings, bent guide rods, replace the guide rods. Two-way plowing posi pos positioning um, cylinder won't function. The possible cause is optional turntable control valve was left in detention position, repositioned to center, um, possible cause foreign obstruction, move obstruction, possible cause hinge plunge, not lubricated, lubricate, hit possible cause cylinders, defective, replace or replace cylinder, possible cause cross line check in the defective repair and replace valve. Possible um, problem. Ballast wing won't lift. Port relief is out. Of the pro the port relief is out of adjustment. Readjust. The main relief is out of adjustment. Readjust. Hinge points. Uh, hinge hinge points is not lubricated. Lubricate. Possible problem. Ballast wing won't.
Actual vibration during speed change is possible cause. Um, sorry, back up the um, uh, transmission jumps out of gear. The possible cause damage shifter from the spring replaced the transmission mounting bolts loose tighten. Um, problem axle vibration during speed changes, torque li li link pins and bearings are damaged, repair and replace, P problem axle housing running hot, P possible cause parking brake left on disengage, oil level low, fill up the lever, fill level plug, pinion ba bearing damage, repair and replace, excessive vibration during high speed travel. Um, the possible cause is journal bearings are dry, replaced, suspension wear plates are worn, replaced, universal joints are worn, replaced, uneven oil diameters resurface and replaced, uh, broom and snow plower, no rotating or easily stalls, um, possible causes, bearing failure, check the broom for the shaft of the bearings, heat and failure to replace if necessary, the broom or snow blower is not rotating easily and easily or stalls, relief the valve, faulty, replace or replace, Re repair or replace, um, pump worn or faulty, repair or replace, motor worn or faulty, P repair and replace, broom or snow blower, not rotating easily, stalls, and the possible causes, relief valve pressure setting too low, checking the pressure for the system blocking outside of the, re of the re relief valve and set the correct pressure, the possible causes are broken drive shaft replace, pre damaged drive matter um, for a broom or snow blower, rotating easily, um, Eas not rotating easily or stalls, repairs and replace, low system pressure, damage drive motor repair, replace low system pressure, check system pressure and adjust necessary. And that, my friend, is... Groundhog ballast regulator, that's a picture of it right there. That's the whole manual.